and a very good morning to you. It is Chapter 2, Video 2, How Earth Studio Fits with Google Maps, Earth Web, Google Earth Pro and possibly VR. It's 8th of Feb, it's 10am for me in the UK, so let's be um, concise as we can with this one. So if we're talking about Earth Studio, and I'm asking the question, are you in the right place to, to consider doing this? And so we've got a screenshot here of Google Earth Pro, which I'll come to, and of course, hopefully by now, the familiar Google Earth Studio. There's a ton of links here, and my tip is that look for something that has Earth in the title, and there are three blue ones there. I'll show you what I mean by are you in the right place. So Google Earth, Google Maps, especially Google Earth, has a ton of different versions that you can see on screen. And then after that, we can go and look at the Google News Initiative. Again, this is information for you to have a little background check. Good example here is with the Google News Initiative. They do some Google Earth lessons. You can see that Google Earth Pro, Google Historical Imagery, Google Earth Pinpoint, Eyewitness Locations, looks like it's finding stuff. The Google Earth Pro, exporting optimal videos and stills. That's pretty much where we were until the new kid on the block came along, which is Google Earth Studio with all the keyframing and the timelining. So in this example, what we're going to do is just have a little quick case study. And what I've done here, even on the, the last video, is I've gone to Wales and I'm looking at uh, Lin Ogwen, Lin Ogwen, I think is how you say it. And I've got a keyframe timeline. Now, how does that compare with something like going back to um, this slide where as a back step, we can say that the Google Earth app, if I went on that app, I can find uh, Lin Orgwen and even measure distances on it, but I'm doing everything with, with my finger. In other words, I'm scrolling around. I could actually get some, um, which is really nice, actually, because there's a, a superbly lovely uh, youth hostel there. Uh, let's bring that to the front. This is why I love doing it like this, because uh, what we can do is I can just edit as I go and as edit as I talk. So in other words, you've got this lovely um, slate-roofed youth hostel here, and it's a nice place. But the point of it is, is that if I was on the mobile app, and I was going along and I was scrolling around, and I could find it, and I could even measure things, that's all well and good. But when we go on to the two versions of actually making, say, a video, then you can look at something which is Google Earth Pro, which has been around for years, and that is something like that, which I'll, I'll show you in a second, and also how we can tr control it. Now, on the control on the right-hand side for Google Earth Studio, we've got this key framing, and that's why I've got the arrows here with control. If you take a step back, and for some people this is the only way that they do it, because they haven't actually learnt Earth Studio, is that they go into something, and I will demo this in a second, trying to go quite quick in this video, and that is in the preferences, in the options, there is something called touring and you can set the time between the features waiting at the features flying along the lines which i've got checked i'm about to show you the tilt the range the speed and i tell you what it's really clunky of course it's clunky that's why google have updated everything with Chrome and Earth Studio to make something amazingly brand new with the latest technology, you know, sitting inside of Chrome. So what does that actually mean to us all in practice? So best thing to do is to come off of that and go into um, Earth Pro. And so what I've already done is I put a line which is our path that we want to follow. It is down here on uh, the Linorguin path and you can see I can do certain things with it. I won't come in too much about it because this is a, a pricey, a concise, quick version. But when I hit the uh, recorder route, which is this button here, it's going to follow that line. So when I hit play, and again, this is the thing where I don't have a tremendous amount of control, but you can see that it's more or less waiting, 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 he says, and then if I hover it down, you can see that I'm gonna go along, and then eventually I'll go down and sort of go through. And it's, it's a bit clunky. Then if I wanted to do that, I would save it. And then I would go up and hit the Maker Movie, which would be Tools. I haven't done this for a while. Movie Maker. And then when you hit Movie Maker, it says, what do I want to do? I want to do it from a safe tour. These are the frames. This is how many frames a second. And it still comes out as a JPEG sequence or 
This, of course, will render as a proper movie. Not much control over it, but you've got the different um, versions of the movie and the qualities. But at the end of the day, what you've got um, almost is like A to B and less control. So, for an example, when we go back to, he says, losing his chrome window, um, right up to the earth studio animation timeline what i can actually do and this is where they this is a sneak peek into the kml's what i've already done is i've loaded that path into just as an idea as an overlay show overlays panel and then i've got the path which actually sits um in here so in other words i can get an idea of i've, I've imported and i can not exactly follow the route exactly but know more or less where that line is and what it's doing so in other words that's one advantage a sneak peek shall we say of how google earth pro can export a kml with a path or a line or place pins and put them into uh, this earth studio i would say that the objective here and it's really important that i stop now and um, talk about the objective of this video it's just a little um, tiny look should we say, the thin end of the wedge of how Earth Studio fits with Google Maps, Earth Web, Pro, even VR. Remember, you go down to scrolling around and then we can eventually start to make something. I'll put the links into all these different boxes because I know that there's a lot of people, or a lot, it's quite a few people, are still using Earth Pro. Maybe because they haven't actually fully embraced or even got hold of Earth Studio at the time. But let's stop here and I'll see you in the next one, which is talking about the Google um, forum.